This is Algebra 2, Lesson 8.2, Counting Outcomes and Tree Diagrams. So, an independent event, or independent events, are events that do not affect each other. Uh, a term that you may or may not have heard before is replacement. If I am choosing socks out of a drawer and I keep replacing my sock every time, if I have 10 socks, maybe 5 of them are red and 5 of them are blue, it's always a 5 out of 10 chance that I'm going to get a red sock every time I replace it. Those are, that's an independent event. Or even simpler is if you're going to flip a coin, it's a 1 out of 2 chance to get ahead. Flip the coin again, it's still a 1 out of 2 chance to get ahead. Flip the coin a third time, it's still 1 out of 2. That's independent, they don't affect each other. So, for independent events, the probability of getting two things to happen, A and B, is the probability of the first thing times the probability of the second thing. We're going to use some tree diagrams to say, well, if this is going to happen, and then this is going to happen, I can multiply those two together to get the probability that both things are going to happen. So I have a 0.8 chance of the first thing happening, a 0.75 chance of the second thing happening, that is a 0.6 chance of both things happening. I can go the same way to get F at the bottom. I have a 0.2 chance of the first thing not happening. I have a 0.1 chance of the first thing not happening. That is a 0 0.02 chance of both things happening. Now I have some missing numbers in the middle here. Uh, before I can get the answer for C, I need to know what B is because 0.8 times B will bring me to C. Um, maybe you noticed I said I had a 0.8 chance of this happening and a 0.2 chance of this not happening. Altogether that's one whole, 0.8 and 0.2. We'll do the same thing to get B and D. I have a 0.75 chance of that event and a 0.25 chance of that event because 0.75 and 0.25 together make one whole. So now I can get my answer at C. 0 0.8 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.2. Down by D, I have a 0.1 chance of D not happening. I need to make one whole, so I need a 0.9 chance. Now 0 0.2 times 0 0.9 is 0.18. If these answers are all correct, I can sum my totals at the end of my tree diagram. They should always add up to one whole. 0.2 plus 0.6 plus 0.18 plus 0.02 adds up to one. That's 100% chance of everything happening, of anything happening. Okay, I'm going to scroll down for example B. Example B says Mr. Rourke teaches three classes. Each class has 20 students. His first class has 12 sophomores. His second class has 8 sophomores. And his third class has 10 sophomores. If he randomly chooses one student from each class to participate in a competition, what is the probability that he will select three sophomores? So I have three independent events. I'm going to need three separate probabilities. Multiply them together. So the probability that the first hour selects a sophomore is 12 out of 20 because there's 12 sophomores out of 20 students. The probability that second hour selects a sophomore is 8 out of 20, 8 sophomores out of 20 students. And the probability that third hour selects a sophomore is 10 out of 20, 10 sophomores out of 20 students. Now the probability that this and this and this, that they all happen, is the probability of that times the probability of that times the probability of that. So my numerator would be 960 out of 8,000. We can reduce that fraction. We can also change it to a decimal. We can also change it to a percent. I will accept the fraction, but if you wanted to take it a step farther, that is 0.12 or 12%. That is it for the notes. Good luck with the exercises and let me know if you have any questions.